Hi folks, I'm Malcolm, with a quick introduction to MagunoLink's user interface. MagunoLink helps create interfaces for your Arduino projects using visualizers. Visualizers are windows for presenting a user interface to your Arduino sketch. These windows host views of your data. Data and commands are sent from your sketch to MagunoLink using our Arduino library. Interface panels send data and commands from MagunoLink to your sketch. These commands can be processed by our command handler library or your own serial communication protocol. In this video, we'll look at setting up connections, MagunoLink serial monitor visualizer, organizing visualizer windows in your project, examples to help you get started, and managing multiple connections. Let's get started with a time plot template. Select a template from the Start Page or New Project drop-down. The built-in templates include a Connection Manager and Monitor window. This one also includes a Time Plot Visualizer. The Connection Manager helps you create and configure connections to your Arduino. Serial ports are the most common type of connection so one is included by default. We'll look at adding more connections later. To get started with a serial port, Simply set the baud rate to match the setup in your Arduino sketch and select the port your device is connected to. Handshake and reset behavior can be configured in the advanced settings dialog, though the defaults are suitable for most Arduino boards. Click connect to open communications and start receiving data. The monitor visualizer reports all the serial data sent through the connection. On the Arduino side, that data usually comes from calls to serial print methods. In MagunoLink, you send messages from visualizers. For example, the message box here is useful for quick commands. Data received from the Arduino is shown in black, data sent from MagunoLink is in orange. Of course, you'll need to implement a command handler in your Arduino sketch to decode messages sent from MagunoLink. Our Arduino command handler library can help with that, if you don't have something in place already. Check out the link in the description. MagunoLink interfaces adapt as your project evolves. Add new windows from the Visualizer toolbox or Visualizer menu. New visualizers are added to the Active tab, the one with the bold title, but you can easily reorganize the interface. Drag tabs onto layout widgets to organize the windows. They are stacked when dropped into the center or arranged next to each other when dropped on the spokes of the window widget. Use the edge widgets to dock a visualizer to one side of the application window. Unpin the docked window to collapse it into a tab. Hover over the tab to expand the window. Windows that aren't dropped on one of the layout widgets will float above the application window. Drop them onto a widget to get them docked again. If you hover over the divider between visualizers the cursor changes to a double-headed arrow, which you can drag to resize windows. Close windows you don't need anymore. If you close a toolbox and want it back, you'll find the toolbox windows on the visualizer menu too. Visualizer layouts are saved in project files, but you can also save layouts you use regularly as templates. Your custom templates will be automatically included on the start page and new project menu with the built-in ones. The code panel shows snippets for sending commands and data from your Arduino sketch to the visualizers and services available in MagunoLink. These examples are a quick reference to some of the methods available, not fully developed examples. You'll find more detailed documentation online. The examples use our Arduino library, which you'll need to include in your sketch. Check out the links in the description for information on installing this library. Then create a visualizer variable and use its methods. For example, to plot data, create a time plot variable and call it send data method. Many complete examples are available in the library examples menu. Feel free to use them as a starting point for your own projects. You can open the examples MagunoLink project, Arduino sketch, or both from this menu. Hey, while we're talking about examples, 
tap the like button to help more people struggling with Arduino interfaces to find our content. Meguno Link projects are not limited to a single device. If you're working on an IoT project with many transceivers, for example, you can use the Connection Manager to add connections for all the devices you want to talk to. Meguno Link can connect through Bluetooth adapters that emulate serial connections, as well as Wi Fi and Ethernet protocols, such as UDP and TCP. Add a connection and configure it using the panel in the Connection Manager. In this example, I'll use Multicast DNS to find a wireless Arduino by name. You can name connections to make them easier to keep track of too. Link connections to individual visualizers using the connection selector. It sets the connection each visualizer uses for sending and receiving data. From the drop-down, you can change the connection for one visualizer, all visualizers using the same connection, or all visualizers in the project. Click the connection selector to open or close. The selected connection and data will start streaming in from your Arduino. Meguno Link has more options to combine data from multiple connections or split a single connection into multiple channels. Check out the online documentation for details. So that's a basic introduction to the Meguno Link interface. A collection of visualizers you can rearrange and customize to quickly build and adapt an interface for your next Arduino project. We've just touched the surface here. Check out the links below for more info on all Meguno Link's visualizers. One of our most popular is the interface panel, where you can assemble buttons, gauges and input controls in a visual designer. Check out this video next if you're tired of wiring up buttons and switches.